How's it going, guys? My name is Jason Hunt, and I run the only land story drafting program in the world. Um, I wanted to sit down with one of my previous students, um, Mauricio, and so he can go over a couple things about his experience working inside of my program, uh, what he was able to accomplish within the time frame, and really where uh, he you know, came from to where he is now. So uh, let's jump into things. Um, first and foremost, Mauricio, thank you for uh, you know, joining me today. I appreciate it. Um, could you give yourself a brief introduction and uh, you know, who you are, where you're from, and, uh, and what your current role is at your company? Of course. Hi, my name is Mauricio. Uh, I was born in Mexico, and I just moved to the United States like four years ago. Um, well, I started working as a field crew for a uh, survey field crew, and I just noticed a video that you did about how to draft land survey. So that really interested me because I noticed that the company that I work for uh, worked similar to to your program. So I immediately, it immediately caught my attention and I texted you. And right now uh, I'm not working on the field anymore and I'm working at the office, which is way better for me. Uh, I work a full time, I do my overtime and it's really, it's really way, it's way better than being on the field, to be honest. That's and, awesome, man. Um, but yeah. before you join the program, mm -hmm. um, I, I know you're working like strictly out in the field. Um, what, what would you say, you know, your previous experience was um, working out in the field? And what was it that like kind of made you have that shift where you wanted to make the jump and get into CAD as opposed to continue working out in the field? Yes. So when I was on, uh, while well, being on the field, like, I have limited uh, sources. I can't really, like, I was struggling before because there's times where I have to set the property corners and I don't have CAD. I, I never used CAD before, so I wasn't really familiar with how it worked. And now knowing CAD, that saves a lot of time for the field crew to set property corners, for example. And I also didn't want to be stuck in, the, in, in field work. I wanted to grow. And that was mainly the best decision I made, like joining your program, because now the not only I know how to do field work, but the amount of stuff I learned from the program and from working in the office, it's been helping me a lot. And I've been growing, growing, growing. That's awesome, and man. It, um, you know, it, you started with me. You really didn't have any cat experience. Um, how did you feel when you first started learning it? And what were some of the challenges that you faced that you were able to kind of I mean, you really picked up on it quick. So how do you feel like you were able to overcome uh, those challenges? And, you know, what was that big shift in your brain that where you were like, okay, I absolutely can do this. This makes perfect sense for me. Yes. Yeah, so what I think helped me a lot uh, is that I used to, well, I, I, I know how to use a computer, but, and also the experience that I had on the field helped me learn faster. But not only that, the, the program is well explained and it's quite, uh, it's for me, it was easy to understand because I, I just followed step by step and that really helped, helped me out and I learned quickly, like quickly. And in the office, when I, when they gave me the job, they saw how fast I learned. I told them, I've been taking this uh, program for a month. And just a month of taking the program and I'm already working in the office. Yeah, I want to that highlight that because you came to me literally on February 2nd of this year, 2025. And I think I did the numbers mm -hmm. by February 19th. So it wasn't even a month. It was literally three weeks. By three weeks, you were uh, mm -hmm. full time in the office drafting for your company. And I assume a significant pay increase as well. So um, can you walk me through like, you know, what it was like getting through that amount of material that quickly and, you know, what you would say to somebody who may feel sort of overwhelmed that this might be a big task to sort of take on because it honestly seemed like it was very manageable for you. Yes, it's definitely, it's a lot of information, but um, you can definitely do it if you really want to stick to it. And, and I, I, rec I recommend it to anyone like the change in, in my life, like in a month was, was crazy. And, and yeah, I mean, it's I've learned a lot from the from the program and in the company. I started working and they were checking my first jobs, and just in a week from being in the office, I already I just give my my work to this to the former surveyor. I I strictly talk to him now. They don't check in the office. They don't check my work anymore. Like they really see That's crazy. that I wow. knew how to do the work and 
just I just email the surveyor and and that's pretty much it. He just checks my work and that's pretty much it. I just talk to the surveyor now. <laughs> so so how do you feel like your uh you know your day to day work routine has changed since you've become a full time drafter? And you know how much work are you temp- typically handling every single day? And how do you feel like your uh you know your workflow has changed? Where um you know do you have opportunities for working you know remotely? Do you have opportunities you know in the future for going freelance? Like walk me through that. Yeah, so definitely I've been working also from home. They give me that. After a week of being in the office, they notice like, okay, you know how to use, do your stuff, like really good. So there's days that they tell me, okay, you can stay at home. I'm going to send you some work orders we have from clients. And I just made, make them, uh, I just work from home sometimes. And well, I mean, that changed my routine, like pretty much. I stopped like getting up at 6 a.m., getting ready to go to a one hour away job site doing the field work now i just wake up and sometimes well i go to the office of course mm. because there's jobs there's bigger jobs that i still have to work with uh, another person but yeah it's been a really big change in that that's sense awesome. i imagine that's kind of a big shift as far as you know your time um i, I would mm-hmm. say a lot of people they they may feel overwhelmed in the beginning because the investment of learning and education is a lot but i, I like to tell people like if you get into a situation where Yes, right now you have to suffer a little bit and you have to put in the work because you are putting in a, a significant amount of time into my program more than I ever sort of prescribed. Because I usually tell people, yeah, if you give four to six hours a week, you can do it in the allotted time. I mean, you basically did everything in, you know, in, uh, I mean, a third of the time. So you're putting in, you know, 25 hours a week extra on top of your normal job. You're hustling. But, you know, what was that payoff like for you where now you have the ability to work remotely? You're getting paid more, you have better consistency. And you get to do it from the comfort of your house. Yes, I mean, and I really like the job. That's why uh, when when I was doing the field where I came home tired, and I'm like, I, w- I want to change this. Mm-hmm. So I really stuck to CAD and to the program, and I really wanted to learn. I felt excited that my life could change uh, in a matter of months. So I really started grinding the program, and in less than a month, I'm telling you, like. I uh, they wanted me to work in the office because people need drafters. Like not only the this company asked me to draft, but there I actually while doing field work, a person just came to, to me and asked me, "Oh, you're a surveyor? I have my own company. I want, I need drafters." And by that time, I didn't. I told him, "I I really don't know how to draft still. I'm learning, but I'm not yet there." So you're at the point and, where where you were already having people propositioning you for. For freelance yeah. work and you yet hadn't even uh you know completed uh enough education on your own end to feel comfortable to offer that service which is crazy exactly that's awesome yeah no. um how do you feel uh this program has helped you sort of build the confidence uh for your new role as a drafter and would you recommend it to somebody similar who's looking for a career change or maybe seeing surveying and survey drafting as a way to pivot into something new it's, it's totally worth it i mean it has changed my i mean if i can do it like anyone can do it it's it's pretty it's it's pretty fun and and it's not hard to learn if you really want to learn it and by the way you explain in your program it's pretty easy to understand Mm -hmm. because everything is well explained and what i like the most about the program is how there's communication with not only you but with uh the other uh, the other persons that are in the program. Yeah. The people. yeah. And we have heavy hitters. I mean, I have professional licensed because. surveyors that work with us mm-hmm. uh, a lot. I would say 30% of the people that come through my program are graduate engineers and um, you know, just everyone that is very dedicated to, uh, to making something happen, which is super cool. And I, I, I saw your dedication in the beginning when you reached out to me, because I don't know if you remember, but uh, my payment processor was down. I couldn't even, I couldn't even take you on for the yeah. program for like, I want to say probably two weeks. And you kept, mm-hmm. you kept sticking with me. And I was like, Hey, listen, man, I'm, I'm going to have a, a solution for this, a solution for this. And I ended up getting that all worked out. And I really appreciate you, uh, you know, holding out for me, but it definitely proved to me that I'm like, this kid is going to go far with this because, um, mm-hmm. I knew that you were committed from day one already, you know, no matter what hell or high water, you're like, I'm getting in this program, which is, which is super mm-hmm. sweet to see. So, uh, that's just fantastic. So, um, I guess now what, what do you say your long-term goals are now that you've sort of settled into this, do, you know, do you see yourself growing with your current company or are you trying to possibly scale up as a drafter, uh, you know, in, with your own drafting firm or, you know, do you envision taking a different path maybe in the future? My goal is to have my, my own company. Yes. Right now I'm working for the company because I want to learn, learn and 
learn everything I want to so that I'm really confident. I mean, but what I, I'm really, I really know how to do stuff. Like I really know how to do surveys. I still want to learn more and more and more so I can create my own business. Because right now I have clients, but it's, uh, they're pretty basic uh, residential boundaries. I want to go and do big scale jobs. That's my primary thing and have my own company. I also want to graduate on the university as a former surveyor. Mm -hmm. That's so fantastic. That's and then go after your PLS license, I assume. Mm -hmm. That's sweet, dude. Yes. Well, Mauricio, I really do appreciate you sitting down with me. I mean, fantastic story to literally go from in three weeks, February 2nd, 2025 to February 19th. Yeah from literally not touching cat at all to a full-time drafter. You've got freelance clients coming in on the side. Um, yeah. And then, mm. you know, you're going to be starting your own company. So big things on the way, but uh, thank you so much for sitting down with me. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'm sure everyone who's watching this is going to find this super inspiring for, you know, the work that you put in and, and what you've been able to accomplish with this. So uh, cool. thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Awesome, man. Thank you.